Time in, fellow bats, and welcome back to another episode of Deck Profiles. Today we are going to be looking over Raichu GX. Uh, this guy here is probably one of my new favorite cards. Maybe not competitively, but in terms of what he does and artistically, this thing is awesome. Now a lot of people did like this card because he does have a very, very similar attack to a Darkrai EX, uh, which is Powerful Spark. For two colorless energy, you're going to do 20 damage, and you'll do a 20 additional damage for each lightning energy in your side of the field. So, if you've got a ton of basic Pokemon with tons of lightning energy, you're going to do some good damage. Unfortunately, uh, because he is a stage 1, uh, Darkrai's trick of like Max Elixir and all that kind of stuff, that doesn't work technically with him. Uh, we're going to be trying it anyways, once we get into the list, of course. Um, but he also has another attack called Thunder. Uh, two lightning, one colorless. It'll do 160 damage, so it's actually very... If, for example, I only have three energy in play, being on the right shoot, Thunder is alright. The only downside is it does do 30 damage to itself, so take that take that if you have to. Um, but we, if we are in a tight spot, we always have Volt Tail GX, two lightning, one colorless, 120. And you leave your opponent's active Pokemon paralyzed. Now, this is to say that they can get out of it with a Guzma or anything like that. But let's be honest here, a single turn paralysis can make or break the game. It'll be forcing them to use that Guzma when they may not want to. Um, it's forcing them to either stall out a turn, giving you the opportunity to knock out a threat. Um, there's a lot of possibilities that this GX attack can do quite well, and it can also help you set up that powerful spark for another turn. Uh, so let's continue on with the rest of this deck. Uh, we have the Oran Guru, 120 HP colorless Pokemon. Uh, this one here is like my clutch. Uh, it saves me from playing too fast, and if I do, keeps me from running out of cards. Um, he also has the psychic ability, or sorry, psychic attack, but. I'm not going to be trying to set this thing up unless it's like my only Pokemon I can max elixir onto. Um, how this all works, we can try and get more energy down with this Magnezone setup. 140 HP lightning type Pokemon with this magnetic circuit ability. Um, as often as you like during your turn, you may attach a lightning energy card from your hand to one of your Pokemon. Now what's cool about this is things like um, ultra balling away your lightning energy and then energy uh, retrieving them later. Uh, so you can kind of have two energy, use your Ultra Ball, get a free Ultra Ball off, energy, retrieve those energies, and then just slap them down, and potentially getting more cards out of whatever you just drew. Uh, so lots of combos in this. Um, lastly, we are using the Tapu Lele GX, 170 HP with that Wonder Tag and Energy Drive. Very standard, pretty much we'll see this in every single deck until it rotates out, uh, so keep that in mind. Um, in terms of the Pikachu, I'm running a 2 Pikachu of the full art and 2 Pikachu of the 70 HP. I want to run all 4 Pikachu with 70 HP, but because they're promo, they're kind of hard to get. Uh, so I'm hoping to get 2 more of these, but uh, for now, this guy will do the trick just fine. Um, and final Pokemon, I did kind of forget this guy, is the Alolan Vulpix. Um, has 6 HP and all we need it for is Beacon. Now, we don't necessarily need this card. But it really helps get it set up with the Magnezone because we are not running a Magneton. Um, we are running a four line of Rare Candy instead. And just because this deck is really tight, like, legit, there is there's not enough room for the things you want. So, um, But anyway, getting onto our trainers, I've, as I've said, we are running Energy Retrieval to get some energy back from the discard pile. Um, we are running a Field Blower uh, for Max Elixir, and again, this is... As long as you've got like a Tapu Lele or a Guru, you can at least get those energies onto the bench. And don't forget, the Tapu Lele can be a nice secondary attacker. Um, so if you have to put energy onto it just to power up your Raichu, it's not a bad thing. Um, of course, we're running our Candy. Uh, we have four Ultra Ball, uh, standard stuff. Uh, we're running even the Bridget. Uh, Guzma here helps us get our Pokemon into the active position. We got our 4N, our 4 Sycamore, standard even continuing. Uh, we've got a Skyla for specific items. Uh, we've got the XP share. I'm running this over like Choice Band, not because of the damage output, but like I need to keep this energy in play. Like I don't want it hitting the discard pile. So if I can at least, you know, XP share onto like another Pikachu or 
put it on the Oranguru just so that I have the opportunity. I don't want to put it on the Oranguru. I have full stone for that. But even still, if I have to put it on like a Tapu Lele in this way, at least the energy stays in place so Raiju can keep playing. I want to try it. Uh, and then we are running 10 Lightning Energy. Now this is a base setup. I've seen people run like Tapu Koko, um, other techs like Raikou to help the energy come from the discard pile for Raichu. Um, you could even use the other one as a kind of a bit of a wall. Um, but there, there are a lot of other tech cards. Jolteon EX, for instance, could be put in this deck. Um, always, always let me know exactly what you guys have put into this, what kind of techs you've used, what kind of things you want to try out in this deck that may not be <clears throat> currently in this video. Uh, because it lets me know that you guys are, you know, watching the video, taking the opportunity to take the deck, try it out, and then, you know, say, you know what, I'm going to change these numbers up and maybe try this out. Uh, and that always is appreciative to me because it means not only did you guys watch the video, but you wanted an interested, you were interested enough to expand on it. So, either way, I'm going to get started on these matches and see if we are able to pull off a win in today's deck profile. Alright, match number one is against Ebikan. 1-1-2-9. One, one, uh, and it looks like they might be playing like... Maybe a little in Nine Tails, considering the coin. Uh -huh. Um, it's got grass in it as well, so I'll see what it is. Uh, but we're going to start with a Pikachu. Unfor unfortunately, the Pikachu is not in the back, so there's not much I can do on that regard. Um, this is not really my best opening hand. Uh, it's a Bon Sweet. And a Drampa. Okay, so Drampa's, Drampa's expected. We're going to see an end. Okay, I'm alright with this. To be honest with you, I'm okie dokie with this. Um, I get the Magnemite. Another Drampa. Now, I have no way... Like, this is actually worse because I can't personally end. I have no supporters, I have no Tapu Lele, no Ultra Ball, nothing like that to kind of help me out here. But I did draw an end. Um, I'm actually quite excited for that. I'm going to try and Max Elixir off onto this. Mm, I was saying that so I don't have to draw it. Let's end first. I know the Steeny is now gone, which is great. I got my Raichu. Uh, we can just drop the Oranguru down, put that Floatstone down, and I'm going to pass my turn. I can go for a Nuzzle. <clears throat> uh, it does fail. My opponent could have easily probably evolved anyway, so I'm not too disappointed in that. Um, we are aware that he does have the Nuzzle. He also has Alolan Ninetales, uh, for sure. Now, I don't know what this Serena GX does. If it's Serena GX, I might be in trouble. Because I have not actually played against one. But he's fully set up this Drampa. Uh, we're going to play another Pikachu. I'm going to set up this guy here. I'm going to grab this energy now. I'm going to Oranguru. Okay, I got another Ultra Ball. I'm going to have to sacrifice one... Actually, I think I did forget, uh, I forgot to get, like, Rescue Stretcher for this deck. Ah! Ah! It's alright. There's always something you can miss. Alright, so I'm gonna grab, um... Let's get four cards. I'm just gonna grab a Sycamore. This way I don't affect their hand at all. Uh, we can rare candy into Magnazone. This is actually going nicely. And I want to drop this. Oh, we're going to go Magnus Circuit. Uh, we're going to drop this one here onto the back one. Bam. Okay, so we're, we're kind of. We're able to do some damage. We're 80 damage. Not quite enough to take out Steeny, but uh, we're getting there. We're getting there. Another bounce. Sweet. Here comes the Serena. 
and has this ability. When you play this Pokemon from your hand to evolve one of your Pokemon, you may have your opponent reveal their hand and discard a card from it. Okay. So they got rid of my Guzma. That's a bit of a problem. <clears throat> this is a bit of a problem. Let's just drop the Raichu. Set up our second Raichu. Uh, we're gonna Sycamore. Come on, Lightning Energy. Yeah! Alright, so we have the Retrieval for next turn. I'm gonna play a second Magnemite just to be on the safe side. Um, Magnet Circuit. I'm gonna put these both on my Tapu Lele. This gives it so that I can attack with her as well. Um, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12 is 120. Um, either way, I can kind of come in here after and knock out this thing, so I'm okay. Actually, that would have been a very good turn to use my Voltail. That would have been a very good turn to use my Voltail. Because uh, I would have stalled him out and not taken any damage from this. I would have kept my right shoe for the following turn. Uh, that was a mistake. That was a misplay. Uh, we are seeing the rainbow energy onto the Drampa in the back. And now my opponent is going to red card me down to four. Double rare candy, not great, and a field blower. Also, not great. Now my opponent only has the choice band, so the field blower is also not a great card for me to have right now. Um, at this range, Tapu Lele would be my best attacker, and just because of his energy, not mine. Let's go for the knockout, and that's 120. Okay, so we at least are. We're on point, and we're slightly ahead because we do have the attackers flowing. Um, I did not have the ability to get my energy retrieval down, so I can't retrieve my energy. Um, but my opponent is just going to have the Alolan Vulpix come up. It's going to return those double colorless energy back to the deck, and we are going to see another Drampa in the scenes in the back. Um, now this one here is slightly damaged. Keyword is slightly. We're getting red carded again. It's not great. We're seeing a red, uh, rare candy into... This guy is all about hand manipulation. And he's going to get rid of my Skyla for sure. And Town comes into play. Oh boy. Oh boy. Nine tails. Uh, this is. Oh, and of course it had to be safeguard. Okay, drop Pikachu. Drop the elixir. Yes. <clears throat> I instruct. I need a supporter. Come on, supporter. That's a Magnezone. I'm gonna be just shy of knocking this thing out. No, I'm not. I know this is a bad play, but I know that that Nine Tails is coming. It's a Bri Bridget turn one. Not not really a great card for us. Ugh, this is not looking good for us at all. This hand manipulation has really hindered us. I have a... I have an Oranguru with Flowstone. Unless you plan to Guzma my Oranguru. That could be bad. Berserk is gonna hit me for 180. So I have 30 damage left.
And I've really burnt out already? That's not good. Come on, I need one energy. I don't need Pikachu. How many energy have I already lost? I've only lost three. Four, five, six, seven. There's three more in the deck, and I just have not had the opportunity to draw any more cards. <sighs> Unfortunately, we are just going to hit for as much damage as we can. Um, he's going to claim my Pikachu here, or sorry, my Raichu here. And there's not much I can do. He is legit just making sure I don't get a chance to play anything. Which is a great tactic. I don't know if this was a great representation of what we could do. But now that he's got the Alolan Ninetales out, I can't do much to it. Um, down goes my Raichu. Uh, that's 2, 4, 6, 8. I just need the ability to attack with Tapu Lele, and my, this Drampa goes down. Max Elixir's not really what I want. I didn't even pull anything anyway. Can I get a supporter off of this? No, I cannot get a supporter off of this. Ugh. We look very grim, guys. Very grim right now. Very grim matchup, but... I don't feel like there was much more I could have done against his kind of a deck, because he does get to discard your supporters, he gets to discard anything that you kind of are dependent on, and he's starting to set up that other draft in the back, which I really don't like. I have not drawn any of my energy retrieval. Um... And I've lost five energies right now. No supporters for a while. I've played, you know, one and two. He's really done a continuous job of mitigating my hand. Which is exactly what he wants to do in order to win. A Drampa does do a fair bit of damage, but if he can stop you from hitting me, that's even better. So he's gonna holla. He has not used his GX attack, but he doesn't need to. Uh, he just goes for the Berserk. I'm on a timer now. <clears throat> he only needs a double colorless energy on the back. I finally get my energy retrieval. So I can get this kind of up and running. <clears throat> Drop one on the active. But this might be a little too late. Might be a tad too late. Uh, Raichu is going to get another one. Can we get a supporter to keep going? Yes, we do. <clears throat> this end might come in clutch. We got two additional energies off of it. Um, you know what, though? I'm not disappointed at all in this game. It was, you know, very close. <clears throat> uh, we can set up this Pikachu in case, in case for whatever reason I can get a Raichu next turn. Uh, energy drive. <clears throat> I will do a flat hundred, and can we get a Raichu? Sycamore, Raichu is in the house, uh, but if he's got double colorless energy, we might lose this. Oh, he's got the energy, Righteous Blade, right, 20 damage. Either way, we did a pretty good game, as best as we could. We got it down to one prize matchup, and I'm not disappointed at that at all. The deck itself ran smooth. Um, the only thing that I noticed is A, I did forget my rescue stretchers, so if you guys do make this deck, remember that. And two, Raichu might need some more damage support. But with that though, let's get into game number two and see if um, my luck was really just the kind of hand control or is it really just not as strong as we thought Raichu was going to be. Alright, match number two is against Ko Chris playing a psychic deck, very likely Espion Garb. And I'm going to be in trouble, because this deck is very weak to Espeon Garb. Um, 
So yeah. We have no starter Pokemon, so unfortunately, at least we both mulligan, so it's not like it's the end of the world. Um, okay, let's... I still don't have one! Oh man, what is going on today? I've had like five games of just straight bad luck with this deck. This deck is not... This is not what I thought this deck was going to be. I thought this deck would be so much better than it is. Um. Okay, we got Pikachu, we got Magnemite. I mulliganed one? Oh no, I, I mulliganed twice. Um, I'm gonna put, obviously, the uh, Pikachu in... I'm gonna put the Pikachu in the back. And the reason for this is because of that good old Max Elixir. This way I can kind of set it up turn one. I gotta bridge it so I can kind of go for that as well. Um, I've got a nice opener. I'm going first, which is great. Um, I can let him spoke as you're active. Its retreat cost is one less for each Magnemite on your bench. Alright, so I can easily retreat him out. It is going to be Espeon Garb. I, I missed on the Max Elixir. That's not cool. Give me a Pika. Give me Oran Guru. And another Magnemite. I can leave the Magnemite up there. Because right now I have no intentions of letting my Pikachu get hurt by anything if I don't have to. Oh boy! Oh boy! Alright, so Psychic Energy down. I'm not losing any energy here because Magnemite doesn't have any. You can do 10. 10 to my Magnemite. Uh, we are going to see a Bridget. This will help. This will see if he actually is the Espeon variant of it. But right now he is definitely Drampagarb. Drampagarb for sure. Uh, and I've already got one item in the discard pile. Bop! Gotta keep an eye on that. Because I don't want him to rack up too much damage. Because I have no way of getting those items back out of that discard pile. He does have the Espeon, uh, he goes for an Oranguru, and he has a Tauros. Uh, he does just Acid Spray. Now he would have gotten my energy. Come on, why am I getting so many Guzma when I have a Sycamore in hand? I just lost two potential Guzma. Alright, so I at least can rare candy. I can go into this. I just took away my retreat! I'm not thinking! I'm not thinking! <laughs> oh, 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 oh. At this point, it don't matter. I was so excited to see the Magnezone! I was so excited to see the Magnezone, I didn't even think. Uh, we're gonna set up this other Pikachu here. Oranguru, you gotta come through with me, buddy. You gotta help me out here. Floatstone, no. I got a Ninetales, but I'm stuck in here with a Magnezone. And I didn't grab any Raichu. No Raichu, no nothing. I could have had all this prevented. I could have, you know, not landed in that. I could have at least nuzzled, done some stuff like that. And by the way, I've got like three items in here, so that's 60 damage I gotta keep an eye out for. He's going to evolve. No Espeon? Oh, he just has it in hand. Alright, well, it don't matter. There we, there we go, the Espeon GX is there. Uh, Evolves into Garbodor, now he can hit me for 60. Uh, we see another Trubbish on the field. I'm starting to look like a bad game here. Definitely starting to look a little sketchy. At least I do have the N, so I can at least get a new hand. Uh, we are seeing Trash Lanch. Bit unfortunate. Uh, I do get another a Lightning Energy. Which I'm going to just drop onto this, uh, I'm going to drop it onto my one Pikachu, this way I can Voltail. 
Uh, Voltail should be able to knock out this first garb, which I'm fine with. Uh, I get my first Raichu of the game. Uh, no items or anything on the field, so I can't do anything with Field Blower. Um, let's get this third energy down onto this Pikachu. And I should really, I should really just get Raichu. This way I don't draw it. Um, I just have the manual evolution if he wants to take me out. Oh, I just discarded more items. I just discarded more items. That's three, four, five, six. That's 120 damage now. Come on, float. That's not floatstone. Not even close. Okay, um, I am gonna drop this energy though. Onto the Oranguru. Uh, again, it's just out. That's all I want. Now this Magnezone will definitely go down unless he Gesmas and then he'll be doing major damage to something else. Which I definitely don't want. I don't have a problem if this first Magnezone does go down because I do have the one in the back. Um, I've made some major misplays though and it's starting to pay up. Uh, Wishful Baton, the energy on this guy will go to one of the back ones. I just got rid of my Field Blower. Bop! Playing this one very rough. Rough plays are indeed here. Alright, so we see Trash Lance. She does go for the knockout on me. It is fine. It is what it is. I'm gonna bring in my Raichu. I'm gonna do 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 160 damage. Uh, potentially more. Potentially more. No more. And uh, I will just end. Now I get the float stone. I have Guzmas now, which is awesome. Uh, and I, I'm just gonna have to knock this thing out. Uh, powerful spark, knock it out. 180. We're looking good on the damage right now. I have the potential for my uh, GX attack. I can at least uh, Guzma in other things. I can now one-shot Tauros. Um, I can one-shot Drampa. I'm in good shape in that regard. <clears throat> and I've gotten rid of the first quote-unquote threat. Now, he does get to put that energy on one of his other Pokemon. More than likely, it'll go on the Espeon or the Garb, depending on his situation in his hand. If he's got another Garbodor, he'll put it onto this. If he's got another energy, he'll put it onto this so he can go. He's actually going to put it onto the Tauros. I'm going to get another Magnemite. Don't need it right now. Um, he does just come into the Espeon. I'm fine with it if he does not have the Double Colorless. But if he does, he's going to hit me for... Uh, 369... 150. 150 he can hit me for. <clears throat> That's not good. I don't know what's going to happen. This is a very stressful match for sure. So it's 150, okay, and thankfully enough, Raichu is bulky enough to handle that. <laughs> um, Max Elixir, do we get energy? No, we do not. Arr! Another flop on that one. I'm gonna Guzma in this guy. Come into my Raichu here. Save my Floatstone in case of situation, and Powerful Spark still is doing uh, 246, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 180, so I can get rid of Tauros. No uh, Rampaging Bull on my side of the screen. We got an XP share, which is good. I can at least save one of my energy and potentially get this Psychic going off. I legit have his attack, but on my Oranguru. The Orangrook coming clutch here, actually. 
Uh, we do see an energy drop onto that Garbodor in the back. That Garbodor is going to be a big problem. Major, 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 major problem. But we're looking okay. Now, if he wants to... Nope, it just goes to Vide. Oh, no, you got my... You still got my Raichu in the back. And I just got my XP share. That's six. You get ten? So there we go. So 40 onto my active. But I am not confused. I'm not anything like that. I can just paralyze this guy. I've not drawn a Tapu Lele yet either. Now that I'm looking at it. No Tapu Lele. Nothing like that. Um, that's so bad. That is so bad that I lost that. What do I go for here? I know I gotta go for Voltail. That is not a question of if ands, or buts. That forces him into a Guzma play. But I don't need the Magnemite. Do I just want to get another Pikachu rolling? And I'm gonna hold. Uh, I am gonna Voltail. Again, I know I'm feeding Garb, I know I'm feeding Garb, but my Oranguru can, if I can get like a Guzma or something, I can kinda take out one of these two. I'm kinda needing to take out um, Espeon with Oranguru, now that I'm looking at it. 20 damage on, er, double kill this over onto the Drampa. We are gonna see an energy retrieval. This will get him two psychic energies back into his hand. Um, I have not had any of those either, which would be really nice. He's just going to pass. Uh, set up this Raichu. If I can get in with Oranguru right now, that's my best play. I just need another Lightning Energy. I got lots of it. Let's see. Max Elixir? No, that's fine. Um, I got seven cards, so I cannot Sycamore anymore. Uh, we're gonna go into here. And my best play is to just retreat out into the Oranguru. And use the Oranguru as the main attacker. Um, energy, grab these two back. We're gonna, in case he destroys my Magnezone, I wanna make sure the other Raichu is set up, because I can't go for Voltail anymore. Um, I can still go for Thunder, technically, but I'm setting up for potential last few turns here. Uh, we are going to go for Psychic. This should be able to knock out my opponent and force either the, like, the, the Garbodor or the uh, Drampa in, and I should still be able to do quite a bit of damage. Not a lot, but I, if he comes in with Garb, I can just go for a Thunder, potentially. Uh, he does come in with Drampa. Uh, Drampa can't go for a lot of Berserk damage because it doesn't have any big damage out there right now. Um, I can easily just retreat right now. Or Guzma. I th no, I can't Guzma. Guzmas are all gone. Okay, so you can go for a Berserk. Uh, that's 3, 6. Uh, sorry, that's uh, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 120 damage here. And he just Berserks. I just need to knock out one card. Uh, drop the XP share down onto you. This is tight. Uh, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. Not enough. Not enough. I'm gonna drop Tapu Lele, see what's in my deck.
I can get... I can just Skylet for Energy Retrieval. And that should be game. Right? Right? I think that's it. Because I have two Lightning Energy in the deck, or in the discard pile. I just go for Energy Retrieval, switch into Raichu, play both? I have to retreat. I have to retreat. Uh, so it's 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 20, 40, 60, 80. I think, I think my math is right. Let's do this. It's my only way of winning anyway right now. And if it doesn't work, well... This is close. This is close. This is a good game. Um. Okay, so I want to double check. It's 20, 40, 60, 80, 120, 40, 60, 80. Okay, yes, 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 yes. Okay, I can do this. I can do this! We can beat Espeon, Drampa, Garb! Woo! This one. Put it on the other right, you. We are going to... No! I am... I am so not ready for that. <laughs> I'm thinking he's got an energy a retreat cost of one. I don't knock him out. Ah, oh, back to the drawing board. Okay, so we are just gonna go for a psychic here. It's 120 damage to the Drampa. No matter what, he has to take. He can't talk. He cannot knock out both my guys. Um, and if he knocks out Oran Guru, that's fine. And he's not cuckooing now, which is fine, because this means he's just going to knock out. Or sorry, he can't. Gu he cannot Guzma now, uh, which means that my Oran Guru is the target. He'll only claim one prize, and my Raichus will come in. Um, and even if he was able to Guzma and come in with Garb, I only need one prize card. So that's the game. Woo! What a match! I'm still intimidated by Garb. I'm still intimidated by Espeon and Drampa. Those three, that deck is still pretty strong in, in my opinion. I don't care what anybody has to say. Um, very, very intimidating. And Raichu still came through. Got a win. Um, this deck is very hard to structure. Um, I guess if you've played Darkrai quite a bit, it wouldn't be hard to set up into a Raichu deck but the combinations like are more difficult like in dark right everything is basic you have yveltal who can get you energy from the discard pile which raikou can do for this so theoretically if i want to do that setup raikou um raichu itself is an evolution so i have to run more cards to set up raichu instead of just or dark right uh, so that's the downside to that. The upside to Raichu, though, is he does have that Paralysis, which can stall. Um, does have that Thunder Attack, which is actually not bad. Has a high damage output. Um, now, you guys can obviously run Choice Band, which can increase your damage output for Thunder to 190. Um, but uh, I didn't think it was, like, it was necessary, but it wasn't, like, going to be detrimental because the, the first attack is the one I'm actually going to be using. And if I'm not set up to do massive damage... Anyway, 30 more damage really isn't going to be helping me. So the XP share, making sure that that energy was in play, is way more important. Because not only is it going to be there for setup, it's there for damage as well. Um, but let me know in the comment section below what you guys think of Raichu. Whether or not he will be a competitive card. I don't think he'll be all, all that. I really wanted it to believe. In my set review, I definitely was... Like, based on the card, he looks so good having Darkrai's attack, having the ability to paralyze like Lapras, which we saw was very strong. But the setup is what's really difficult here. Um, if you guys have a better Raichu variant, let me know. Let me know if I can, you know, kind of play through it, try it out myself. Because Raichu is definitely one of my favorite cards, still even after the gameplays we had. Um, and I'd love to see it work out better. So if you guys have any... Um, comments or suggestions for Raichu, definitely leave them in the comment section below. Uh, but that is going to be it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys are brand here, new here, please hit that subscribe button. It means the world to me. You guys come out and watch the videos on the regular. But that is going to be it for me. 
Thank you guys so much for watching. Time 